Yo, what is going on people? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. And I got some good news for you. We're going on a photo shoot. Now I say we because you know I'm bringing y'all along for the journey, but it's exciting for two reasons. One, it's been about a year since I did my last photo shoot. I mentioned in a previous video that, you know, I was going through some burnout over the past couple of years. And so I uh, kind of haven't been shooting too much, but tomorrow changes that because I'm getting back into the swing of things. Second reason is because it is a studio shoot. Now, typically I do more outdoor natural light photography, but this is actually going to be a studio shoot where I get to play around with lighting and backdrops and all that good stuff. But anyway, the topic of today's video is how do we plan for these photo shoots? I wanna take you through my process, covering four major themes where I wanna plan or where I have already started planning in for tomorrow. And so those four themes are theme of the shoot, location, gear, and technique. So I'm planning in all those four areas in order to kind of make the best of my time during the shoot because I only got about two hours. And so I just wanna bring you along for that process, let you know kind of what I'm thinking and how I uh, prepare for that. And hopefully it can provide some value to you or we can compare notes. You let me know how you plan for your shoots and give me some tips, give me some information. But with all that, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. So first, let me give you a gist of the theme of this photo shoot. Now, I have so lovingly deemed it angelic. Basically, it's gonna be an angel photo shoot. And uh, one thing I always like to do with photo shoots is once I've identified a theme, I will go straight to Pinterest and start putting together different looks and different ideas for how the shoot might go. So this is the Pinterest board I created and it's nothing too extensive, probably about 60 pins or so. And basically I just pinned any image that kind of gave me an angelic vibe. So it could be something that's a little bit more literal. It could be something that's a little bit more abstract, basically just trying to hone in on the style that I want to portray on the shoot that I'm doing. And so things I'm looking for are what does the backdrop look like? What does the wardrobe look like? What type of props are being used? What are some of the lighting techniques? What is the retouching techniques being employed? And that's kind of how I'm looking at it and really trying to hone in on the style. Now, one thing I'll say is I did share this board with my model so that she she's on the same page as I am as far as what, my, what type of wardrobe she might need to bring and what type of props might be employed and the kind of the look and poses that we're going for. But yeah, that's just kind of how I think about this and uh, how I organize these uh, uh, these boards in order to get a better understanding of the themes of the shoot. All right, so next up, let's talk about location. Now, as I mentioned, this is gonna be a studio shoot. And uh, the way I was actually able to find a studio to shoot at was through a really cool website called Peer Space. Uh, pretty much like Airbnb, but for creative endeavors like photo shoots, video shoots, podcasts, all that good stuff. And so the space I found was actually pretty affordable. And as you can see, it actually has quite a bit of supplies for me. So everything from backdrops to umbrellas and uh, stands and even some uh, stools and, and apple crates for uh, my model to sit on. Uh, if we keep going, we can kind of see, uh, I guess this is a little changing area with a little curtain and a mirror. Um, a nice hanging backdrop system that's bolted to the ceiling. It's pretty much already set up for me. So we have white, we have a neutral gray, which I think those are the two main backdrops I'll probably leverage. Uh, additionally, we have a nice little uh, tool cart with additional clamps and a, uh, looks like a bunch of other good stuff in there. And then we have lighting. Lighting is good uh, because it means I do not have to bring my own lighting. I might bring one of my own lights just in case, but it is good to know that this lighting is already here for me. So I think, yeah, I think this space has everything I need in order to accomplish the look that we're going for. So gear. Now, before I begin going through all this stuff, let me just say that it took me multiple years to acquire all of this. I think about four to five years to pretty much get all of this stuff. And so I don't want you to think that, oh, you need all of this stuff in order to do photography or to do photography in YouTube or whatever. Uh, I have acquired this over the years and you know I've been blessed enough to be able to purchase these things. Um, I've definitely been frugal and uh, thoughtful about when I purchase these things for sure. But yeah, just to let you know, you don't need all of this. You can have a very simple kit and still do really good at photography and YouTube. Now, another thing I'll say is, I probably wouldn't bring all this if I was just doing photography, um, but because I love y'all so much, 
I'm also bringing stuff in order to capture good video for these, uh, for these YouTube vids. So my main photography camera is the Sony a7 IV. And what I like about this is it's a really good hybrid camera. It allows me to capture video and photos. It has that nice 32 megapixel camera so I can crop in when I'm editing my photos. Now on here, I have the uh, Sony Zeiss 55 millimeter F1.8. And that's one of my favorite focal lengths to shoot at. I love shooting around 50, 55 because that's closest to what the human eye sees for, as far as focal range goes. And it just works so well for me. I think that's just the focal range I'm most comfortable shooting at. But additionally, I, I am bringing the 35 millimeter lens just because I want to, uh, might wanna get out a little bit wider in order to capture some of the background with my model. Um, I also have an 85 millimeter, but I don't think I'm gonna wanna bring that because it is gonna be a smaller space and I don't know how far back I'm gonna be able to stand away from my model. So for video, I have the Sony a7S III and on top of that, I have the uh, Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter lens. Additionally, I brought this, the 17 to 28 millimeter lens because it's uh, really gonna depend on the space. This is my first time going to the space, so there might be times where I need to shoot from further away, and there might be times where I need to capture more of the scene in order to get that good YouTube footage, you know? And uh, another thing I'll note about this is I have this new attachment that I recently got uh, it is the Atoll S, I believe. And it's really cool because what it does is it attaches to your tripod and it allows you to quickly swivel your camera between landscape and portrait mode. So if I just do this here, uh, loosen this up a little bit and then quickly just move it like that. It's kind of how it works. Imagine, imagine this piece being connected to your tripod uh, via the, uh, what do you call it? The Arca Swiss plate and then uh, you loosen it up and then you can just swivel your camera and it's really cool. So yeah, that could be really cool for when I, uh, you know, just have it just capturing the B-roll of the shoot for both uh, YouTube, YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels. So yeah, speaking of tripod, the tripod I'm using is the Peak Design Aluminum Travel Tripod. And what I like about this is it's super easy to set up, super easy to pack down packs down really small, and it's just overall really good, really well-designed tripod. Let's talk audio for a little bit. My main mic is the Sony ECM B1M, and uh, basically just attaches to the top of my camera, and it allows me to get some good like talking head footage. But I also have the DJI wireless mics, and I think this is probably gonna be a little bit more useful for tomorrow's shoot because I'm gonna be doing a lot of moving around, not sure how close to the camera I'm gonna be, and so it allows me to capture audio from a distance. In fact, that is the mic that I'm talking to you right now with. So y'all let me know how it sounds. Do y'all like it? Do y'all not? Is it, is it good? Is it not? Uh, yeah, y'all let me know. Now lastly, I have my GoPro Hero 8. And what I usually do with this is I attach it to this little necklace here. I pop this around my neck. And when I get ready to shoot, I just hit record on the uh, GoPro and uh, start shooting and it captures that nice crispy POV footage. So basically, this is the kit that I'm gonna be bringing. Like I mentioned, the backdrops, the lighting, that's already gonna be provided in this studio space, so I don't have to worry too much about that. But yeah, this is what I'm rocking with. And uh, yeah, love to hear more about your kit. What do you all shoot with? Hold up. Forgot to mention, the bag that I'm gonna be using to carry all of this gear is the PGY Tech One Mo. 22 liter backpack. Love this bag. Lots of capacity, lots of options. Let's go. All right, let's bring it back to the computer so I can talk about technique. Now you saw the gear. Let's talk about how I wanna leverage the gear in order to kind of get the look that, uh, that we want for the shoot. So because I don't have extensive experience with studio shoots, that was kind of my starting point in search of certain techniques that I could try in order to uh, get the best look for the shoot. And I knew for this shoot specifically, because it was an angelic theme, I wanted to give my model a bit of an aura to her. So I thought that the best solution would be backlighting and so that's kind of what I'm looking at here is different techniques for backlighting and lighting uh, models in order to kind of give them that glow um, as you can see here uh, this particular model is being lit from above it looks like maybe they're using one light or maybe they're using the secondary light to light the background as well but the main backlight or 
uh, top lighting it looks like it's coming from above and a little bit behind this model um, other instances may be something like this where it looks like it's coming in from her left uh, and lighting her hair in order to give her that glow and then there's lighting that's directly behind the model which I think this is super interesting as far as like getting that glow around her hair additionally I might shoot with the moment cine bloom filter and in order to give a little bit more bloom to the lights and a little bit more more halation to it in order to give a little bit more of that glow for for this so yeah it's just interesting to see this it's also interesting to see how these photographers are setting up the lighting for the model uh, in order to really understand uh, you know how to light the scene properly and so I think that's super interesting and it's super useful for the techniques I want to employ for the shoot so yeah y'all that's what goes into me planning a studio photo shoot I hope that helped you all I hope you got some value out of that curious to know how do you all shoot how do you all plan for your shoot you know how do you select your themes how do you plan your themes how do you select your locations what kind of gear do you use what are your techniques would love to hear all that down in the comments go ahead and drop them down below until then i'm gonna let y'all go stay tuned to see how the shoot goes go ahead and give this video a like subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you all later